Hi there. Uh, hi there. I'm Mr. Cotton. Yeah, I'm Mr. Gardner. And uh, welcome back to another video in our series about creating a website in HTML. Um, in this video, we're going to be styling headings and paragraphs. Separately. Yeah. And we're going to change the font sizes. And we're also going to look at how to change the font family as well. Yeah, that's what type of font you're using. So I've opened the website that we've got so far, which is our dog walking website with yeah. the cornflower blue shade in the and the white writing. And the white writing, yeah. And we've got a heading. Yes, we have using a heading the there. H1 tag. And these two paragraph lines there. Just using the P paragraph tag. So I, last time we put in this stuff in CSS to make the colour white for all writing in the body. Yeah, so we set up a style sheet and we saved it as a file called style.css. Stands for cascading style sheet. And we styled the body tag in this slightly unique way with the curly brackets and things. We mm. just wrote the word <clears throat> body to indicate we want to style the body tag. Okay. And put background colour and colour. Um, and we had to spell colour the American way. The American way. American way. Because they invented this. Um, and yeah, cornflower blue. So the nice thing about CSS is we can style any tag that we've used in our page. Okay. So if we switch back to the HTML code for a moment, and you can see highlighted there that the Welcome to My Dog Walking website heading yeah. is <clears throat> using the H1, H1. tag. So okay. if we go back to the style sheet, right. uh, start a new section of CSS, uh, uh, maybe even leave a line between, <clears throat> go down to line six. Okay, there, yeah. And just type H1. H1? So to say that we're styling the H1, H1. tag okay. every time we've used it in our page. So am I right in saying that we'd now use the same curly brackets? As it's exactly like the body thing, basically. Okay. So yeah, uh, open the curly bracket. And close it there so I don't forget. Yeah, and uh, they went red briefly to show yeah. that they're a pair. And then just as we did with the body, if we want to change the foreground colour, like the text colour, we just put colour in yeah. American. Well, and then yeah. and then pick a colour for your headings. What do you think? Um, light salmon is quite a <laughs> is, good Is an so, available uh, colour. Light in... salmon. Right, yeah. Is an available colour in right. HTML. Yeah. So semicolon uh, at the end is that? Semicolon yeah. at the end, just like we did with <laughs> white. So let's see oh. the combination so of same. light salmon and cornflower blue. There you go. Well, Standard. There you go. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, very really common combination. Like salmon and cornflower. Blue. Okay, uh, let's talk about changing the size and the uh, font used in that heading as well. We'll start with the size. So if you start a new line between the brackets, okay, and put font hyphen size. Okay, it's quite, quite predictable. Obvious, that that one. One. They're yeah. not all obvious, but this one is. Um, and then we'll specify the size in pixels in this case. There are some other ways to do it in CSS, but for, for the sake of this example, we'll use pixels. Okay. At the moment, that's probably, I don't know, somewhere around 20 pixels. Let's make it quite big. Let's go 40 pixels. Okay, so type to... 40, and rather than writing mm -hmm. pixels, you can abbreviate it to just PX. PX. A semicolon. And then a semicolon. So pixels are picture elements. They're the little dots that make up your screen, and 40 is kind of how high the text will be. So I refresh. Yeah. There we go. You see the writing's a little bit bigger. You can actually make yeah. it gigantic and choose an enormous number if you want, or make it very small. I think that's okay. That's right. Um, so the last thing to do then uh, is change the actual font used. And to do that, you just make another new line in this H1 CSS bit. Yeah. And this time we're going to put font hyphen family. Okay. So a little bit of background cool. before we pick a font. Um, the thing you've got to be aware of when designing a website is that people could be using a web browser on Windows as we are, or on an Apple Mac, or on an iPhone, or some sort of smartphone, or a tablet, or who knows what these days. So uh, browsers support m a range of font families, mm. um, but depending on the computer you're looking at it on, it might choose a slightly different font. Okay. So at the moment we've got sort of very standard sort of Times New Roman serif font. Yeah, in light salmon. It's actually been proven <laughs> in light salmon. Uh, it's been shown that to look at text on a backlit screen, tablet, phone, computer, whatever, it is easier to read if you don't have those serifs, if you go for a sans serif font. Okay. That's why a lot of TV programs will use that sort of thing. Um, so if we just put sans hyphen serif, Ooh, like that, yeah, so yeah, then the web browser, uh, perfect, will choose a sans serif font, a standard sans serif font that it has installed on its uh, operating system. Okay, so if um, I refresh that, we'll go from this serif font to yeah, sans serif. So that's chosen a standard font, a uh, serif font. If you press refresh, we've got a standard sans serif okay. font. Okay. Um, it's probably Arial, I would have thought, yeah. or Arial, however yeah. you're supposed to pronounce it on Windows. I think it matters. Um, yeah, and that's it. You can be more specific with fonts, so I'll show you that very quickly. Go okay. to CSS. Yep. Um, if you go before the sans serif, but after the colon, so if you oh, click so there, there yeah, okay. you can actually be really specific with the font. So if you wanted to put Calibri, for example. Uh, so C-A-L-I-B-R-I, yeah, which, which comes with Windows 7, <clears throat> um, you could use it. And if you put a comma 
Yep, what that means is it will first try and use Calibri. If the computer or phone or whatever doesn't have Calibri installed, it will just go to the next in the list, which is oh, I see. a sans serif. Okay, how many fonts could I put in there then, in theory? Uh, loads, oh, right. if you wanted to, okay. but then you you would never be quite sure what the no, user's what going to see. Okay. So. so save and refresh again. Yeah. There yeah, you go, okay. and you can see a subtle change there, but yeah. it's using the Calibri font. And so you can be quite specific if you want to, um, or you can just go with a nice font family like sans serif. Thanks very much. That's all right. It's light salmon. <laughs>